it is important to commence the production of the A-50U and A-100 long-range airborne early warning and control aircraft immediately. The Russian foe has 50 to 70 tactical aircraft and uses long-range kamikaze drones on a daily basis. This situation creates an urgent need to improve radar space control and air defense command. The A-100 Premier program, which was designed to replace the A-50 and A-50U in the Russian Aerospace Forces, has been stopped by the Russian leadership, according to credible reports, in 2025. The program is based on the Ilyushin Il-76 MD-90A. The A-100 is considered weak against new long-range missile threats. It has faced ongoing technical problems and struggles under Western sanctions that restrict access to critical components. The aircraft's advanced radar capabilities were mostly conceptual, and repeated technological setbacks and delays have raised the possibility of cancellation. However, there is no direct official confirmation from the Russian Ministry of Defense or the United Aircraft Corporation regarding the cancellation of the A-100 program. Most of the information in open sources comes from defense analysts, independent observers, and unofficial reports mentioning technical issues, delays, and rumors of termination. To date, no prominent or confirmed statements have been issued by the UAC or government agencies about suspension or cancellation. Sergei Korotkov, chief designer, and Deputy General Director of the United Aircraft Corporation has said that a decision on serial production of the A-50 aircraft will be made soon after the completion of current work. Ongoing efforts are focused on modernization and technical upgrades to the platform, paving the way for larger production runs. He stated, quote, We are currently fulfilling contracts. Korotkov emphasized the undeniable need for such assets in today's world especially for gathering essential information. His remarks raise a key question. If the assembly of modernized A-50U aircraft has long been mastered at the Tegenrog Aviation Scientific and Technical Complex, with integration of the Schmel M radar systems from JSC Vega Radio Engineering Concern, then what exactly remains unfinished? The production cycle is well-established and automated, so technical readiness may not be the cause of delays. Instead, the challenges are likely linked to import substitution efforts. This process requires replacing foreign components in radar data processors, display devices, and control systems such as LCD terminals. The semiconductor framework for onboard electronics is expected to be rapidly substituted with chips from China and Vietnam. These measures aim to reduce dependence on supplies from potentially hostile countries. Timely detection and interception of enemy kamikaze drones is seriously limited by the small number of modern airborne early warning aircraft currently available. In the near future, additional threats such as FP-5 and ERAM cruise missiles will appear, requiring even more extensive radar coverage. At present, Target detection is often carried out by Su-35S fighters equipped with Urbis-E radars, following established operational plans. However, mass production of the A-50U and A-100 is critical, as fighters cannot fully replace specialized AEWNC aircraft in large-scale conflict. The A-100, the newest long-range radar reconnaissance aircraft, deserves particular attention. It carries an active phased array radar, with stronger resistance to jamming and higher throughput compared to earlier designs. Flight testing began in 2022, but no updates followed. This silence may reflect the need for modifications, additional verification, and fixing problems discovered in trials. Renewed activity in this program could substantially strengthen Russia's airspace surveillance and command capabilities. All available evidence suggests that restarting mass production of the A-50U and beginning production of the A-100 are critical tasks for national security. Their large-scale deployment and improved technology would allow Russia to confront tactical air and drone threats across a wide operational theater. But actual production capacity remains limited. In the Soviet era, 
three aircraft were built per year. Today, it can take one to two years to modernize a single A-50. Many airframes remain in storage without engines and require major refurbishment. Some reports suggest Russia may choose to upgrade its existing fleet rather than build entirely new A-50 aircraft. Industrial constraints and sanctions continue to limit the ability to expand or replace losses. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.